Welcome to SG Autos. Today we're going to be looking at a 2003 Mercedes S55. This has almost 500 horsepower, 512 foot pounds of torque. Awesome, crazy car. You never know if you're looking at it, but let's check it out. Now, of course, everybody knows the name Mercedes. Uh, they're a huge international company. They have some of the most amazing engines and amazing cars and innovative stuff out there on the market. And Mercedes is known, obviously, as a very high-class car. And this one here originally was over $100,000. But now you can buy this car for $10,000, $6,000. 15,000 depending on how many miles and things like that. So you can have a 500 horsepower car that, that puts down supercar numbers 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds I believe. Uh, again like I said 493 horsepower, 512 foot-pounds of torque uh, in, in the most comfortable car you're gonna ever be in. And you can get that for less than $10,000. Let's take a look and see what you get for your six, seven thousand dollars when you buy a hundred thousand dollar Mercedes S Class S55 Supercar. Now, anytime you buy a hundred thousand dollar luxury car, you're gonna look it over pretty well. One thing you're going to look at is your rear seat space. Now this is an S-Class, and S-Classes in a lot of the cases were used to chauffeur people. Um, if you had a really big house, you owned the company, and you had a driver that needed something to drive you around in, this was something you would look at. Now, this being the S55, the AMG version, this is a little bit more of a driver's car, so most likely whoever bought this originally intended to drive it themselves, because trust me you want to drive it but the S class is a long car it's a big car and rear seating is important and in this car great leg room this seat here is set in position for me I'm 6'3 so the seat is all the way back as far as it will go and in spite of that my knees don't touch the seat I have room I can stretch my legs a little I can recline back this has a rear shade that comes up if you need it it's a very comfortable place to be in fact I don't really want to get out now. Maybe I'll just take a nap. Now, one thing, like I said earlier, Mercedes is very innovative. They're, they were very ahead of the time, even in a car. This is a 2003. In 2003, this car had a uh, Distronic Cruise, basically, where you pull up behind someone and you're on cruise control. The car will slow down to match your speed until you pass them. That's something that is advertised on new cars now as, as sort of a newish feature. And Mercedes had that in 2003. Of course, it had backup sensors and backup cameras and different things like that as well uh, back before it was cool to have and so Mercedes did a really good job with that there's tons of tech uh, this has a hydraulic suspension system which is very expensive to fix and it does occasionally break down so if you buy one of these budget for that because at some point you're going to have to fix something with your suspension but what that hydraulic suspension allows you to do is have this huge heavy car turn into a race car and it is amazing what this thing can do uh, it has an ABC sport suspension button which uh, basically lowers the car down a little bit it also gives you it ha this has 
acceleration sensors, stop sensors, roll sensors, uh, any type of sensor you think of, anything the car can do, it'll sense it and will adjust. When you're going around a corner, and of course the car will lean this way going around the corner, with the hydraulic suspension, it keeps you level. The seat does the same thing for you as the driver. There's an ABC button here, sport button right down here. When you hit that, it, the seat bolster is just run by air, and it keeps you in the seat. It moves the seat when you move the car. It's crazy. And this is a 2003. This is a this is a 20-year-old car with technology that's, that's just absolutely crazy. But enough about that. The best part about this car is the 5 liter, 5.5 liter, excuse me, supercharged V8 under the hood. And this thing is crazy. Like I said, this car has 500 horsepower. But how does it put down power? In, if, if this was a, a Camaro or a, some other light, small car, that's you would think, man, that's a really fast car. But in this one, it, you would you would think that because this is a this is like one of the heaviest cars I've been in, um, because it's so heavy and because it's so there's so much technology and so much stuff, you would think it would be slow, or at least not as fast as you would think. Um, but I'm here to tell you, this is a crazy fast car. The way the engine is built, the way it is designed, when you step on it, it doesn't matter what speed you're going, it doesn't matter what gear you're in, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. This car is crazy fast. It puts you back in the seat and will not let up until you run out of horsepower this car has and how quickly it happens. This car is it's a big car so it's not it doesn't break your neck but it's this smooth just solid feel when you step on the pedal it doesn't matter it doesn't matter <laughs> it doesn't matter what speed you're going it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. This thing, this is it's just so fun. That's, that's what it comes down to, it's so much fun. Of course, being a ridiculous luxury car, this has things that are ridiculous and you don't need. For instance, these guys right here. You have a little rear area. See that guy pops down there? It's actually a mirror for you when you're sitting in the rear and you want to fix your makeup or fix your hair or whatever. So, this is definitely one of my favorite cars of all time. Uh, this is a dream car of mine. I know it's cheap, I could have like a Ferrari as a dream car or something like that. And I do like Ferrari, don't get me wrong. But, when I can have this car, with the same horsepower as Ferraris, same speed, but I can afford it, that's something I'm interested in. Now, in this particular model, you get three memory seats, both on the driver and rear side as well as heated and cooled seats. 
uh, which is very nice to have. Now, the cooled seats in, in this car aren't as amazing as some other ones I've seen in newer cars, just because I think they're just a little old and dated. So, we have right here, this is your rear window shade, ABC Sport, that changes how the, how the suspension sits. This here actually will raise the car up if you need to, and then it has several other you know, unlocked buttons. Traction control, rear heat, rear headrest will pop down if you put that, and then that's for towing. Kind of a weird place to put a button that never gets used, but there it is. In this particular car, you do have navigation. Uh, now, because it's an older vehicle, you have to have the CD that matches the area you're in. Uh, this one, the CD doesn't match this area, so I don't ever have it on. It does have, of course, uh, automatic air. As you can see, the numbers are starting to fade a little bit on there. The screen's a little faded, but it's, it's an older car. Now, this one has several uh, modes here. It has manual. Now, if we put it in manual mode, if you look here on the back of the steering wheel, you can see these guys right here. So it has paddle shifters, basically. They're just little buttons. Put it in manual mode. If you put it in, this is not actually sport mode, it's standard mode is what they call it. And that is how the car would normally be. It, that starts it in first. Now, if I put it in C, in comfort mode, now this shows up on the dash. I should show you this. You can see manual, sport, uh, standard, and comfort. Comfort will start it in second gear. So it's not quite as uh, exciting off the line. If you leave it in standard mode, it starts in first gear like a normal car would. That's where I leave it because I tend to, every once in a while, I want to have that extra power. The amazing thing for me is that I can buy a $100,000 luxury supercar for less than ten thousand dollars and the engines in these things are almost bulletproof you have very little engine or transmission issues would be very minimal unless you of course it wasn't taken care of or you're racing and things like that of course that is always something that is a possibility but in general it's a very reliable car uh, the suspension is an issue of course but that is something that uh, you know considering what this car is it's, it's minimal and as long as you keep on top of it, keep everything taken care of, it's not bad. So, final thoughts on this car. I love it. I'm in love with these. I've owned several of the S-Class's body before. I've never owned this particular one, which is the Supercharged V8. And it's amazing. I love it. It's a head turner, but at the same time, it's very understated. It doesn't look like a 500 horsepower mad crazy supercar. It doesn't. Looks very respectable, very normal. No one's going to think you're an immature, crazy person for having this. No one's going to uh, suspect you of anything. But when you're ready, <laughs> it's <laughs> it's a crazy car. And it is a ton of fun. So, if you're on a budget, you have a little bit of money to spend, but not a lot, check one of these out. They're rare, too. They're hard to find. But if you can find one, yeah. Thanks for watching SG Autos today, guys. I hope this was a good video. If this is something you're interested in, get it. These things are amazing. If you haven't already, hit like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.